بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا ڈفرنٹ ایشوز اینڈ دا ڈفرنٹ سرکمسٹانسز وچ ٹین ٹو افیکٹ کارپوریٹ گورننس ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو موو ٹوورڈز دا گلوبلائزیشن فیکٹر ٹوورڈ دا گلوبل ورلڈ ٹوورڈز اے مور یونیورسل کارپوریٹ گورننس سسٹم دی ایمرجنس آف اے یونیورسل کارپوریٹ گورننس سسٹم وچ ٹینس ٹو اوور رائڈ اینڈ اوور شیڈو نیشنل کارپوریٹ گورننس سسٹمس اور فریم ورکس دا ورلڈ is becoming globalized. The markets are becoming globalized. Uh, the products are globalized. And therefore, no more are there any boundaries. There are no boundaries. And therefore, there is this great uh, need to have a universal corporate governance system. Uh, functional governance towards the market-based system is driven by a multiplex of market forces. Now, when we look at those market forces, increasingly massive international finance flows offering deep liquid capital markets and growing influence of regional stock exchanges. So uh, this has been uh, relevant since the past two, three decades. And we are seeing uh, that these massive inflows and outflows of cash uh, basically tend to affect or of the market situation, just like in Pakistan. Uh, we see that recently uh, the dollar skyrocketed uh, from 200 rupees to nearly 250 rupees. And that tend to uh, put so many undulations and iterations uh, in the market within Pakistan. And then again, how regional stock exchanges are also growing. And we see uh, how the Japanese stock exchange, how the New York stock exchange, how NASDAQ, uh, how the Lung London stock exchange, all of these stock exchanges now have a great influence on global dynamics and on the universal system of corporate governance. Developing activities forever expanding institutional investors, expanding revenues and market capitalization of multinational enterprises, and accelerating convergence towards international accounting standards. So these things are also now very important, especially the convergence of international accounting standards so that everyone can understand how organizations are working, how they are going to be held accountable, and what is the transparency level over there. We are seeing another thing also emerge. Uh, there is the global integrity education or the global integrity within the corporate sector, which is also emerging. And there is uh, a great impetus of ensuring that there is integrity, ensuring that there is accountability, and ensuring that there is uh, transparency in all the activities of any corporate uh, institution. So all of this is becoming very important. Global anxiety of a particular corporate governance system catalyzes economic uh, and competitive advantage. So again, what we see is, is that uh, because there is emphasis on various corporate governance systems, uh, then there is a competitive economic advantage which tends to emerge. A country's corporate sector performance is measured against global standards. So again, stand alone, no country can perform. It is always in the context of other countries. And that is why we have seen uh, this uh, sudden uh, flux of uh, different indexes. We see the competitive index. We see the productivity index. Uh, we see the performance indexes. We see uh, the indexes in the context of uh, cost of doing business in a particular country. So all of these indexes have basically emerged because uh, then it is uh, basically uh, cross-referenced uh, across countries around the world and that enables a country's economy to be uh, more vibrant and more dynamic or uh, to be more rigid uh, and uh, also cloistered. So again, that is what we have to see when we are looking at a universal system of corporate governance. Comparative economic performance induces corporate governance. Globalization effect on capital markets pressure pertaining to corporate governance. So again, these factors of globalization have a huge pressure uh, on uh, market. And that is why we are seeing uh, that right now in Pakistan, most of its industries are facing a lot of problems because of this global competition, because of these global pressures which are emerging. And that, again, is ten tending to facilitate corporate governance and also ensuring that companies move forward and try to standardize all of their systems and frameworks according to acceptable international standards. Corporate alignments towards public capital markets is also being seen. Organizations expanding into global markets often prefer to use stock rather than cash. So to cash transactions are being limited. Right now, we have anti-money laundering uh, schemes uh, around the world. So anti-money laundering frameworks have been put into practice. State banks are playing a, a very strong role. Transactions uh, are being monitored. Any transaction over $10,000 is being monitored. Uh, cash over $10,000 is being prohibited to be taken from one place to the other so that there is traceability factor and all transactions are taking place through uh, the electronic transfers or through stocks 
so that there is traceability of every transaction within any institution in any other country. And therefore, the whole global scenario is becoming more documented and more uh, and more uh, more attuned towards digitalization, which is more traceable, more merit based and more transparent uh, as a whole. Uh, there is a continuing bias in favor of home country investing. However, internationalization of capital markets has led to more cross-border investing, which we see foreign direct investments coming in. Internationalization of capital markets is creating new challenges and competitiveness. So these are the new challenges which are emerging and therefore it is very important uh, that the organizations of today are more aware, more attuned, more aligned, more calibrated to the international factors, towards internationalization, towards capital markets around the world and they are able to understand how products and product development and product uh, and, and product production and besides that the new developments, uh, the, the value addition, uh, the innovation, uh, the capitalization, all of those things together they would ensure that there is a better corporate governance system which is more universal in context and global in flavor and most importantly is in sync with the developments of corporate governance around the world. Thank you so much.